It was a moment that seemed impossible, capturing the invisible. For decades, scientists knew there was something lurking at the center of our galaxy, an immense and mysterious force that pulled stars into its orbit and even swallowed light itself. They called it Sagittarius A, a supermassive black hole. In April 2019, a team of scientists from around the world gathered together, waiting in anticipation. A network of telescopes scattered across the globe had been focused on this black hole for months, capturing data from deep within the heart of our galaxy. These telescopes gathered an immense amount of data, totaling around 5 million gigabytes. This data was flown to processing centers since it was too large to transfer over the internet. Then, on one fateful day, the data was finished processing, and the image appeared on the screen. There it was, the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, a glowing ring of light orbiting around a pitch black core. A photograph of something we were never supposed to see. We had captured a picture of a black hole. The place where time and space come to an end. The black hole at the center of our galaxy is not the only incredible thing about the Milky Way. There are roughly 400 billion stars, all orbiting around the center of our galaxy. Think about this for a moment. 400 billion stars, each one a sun in its own right, most of them with planets orbiting around them, like our own solar system. Some stars are massive giants, while other ones are tiny. These burning stars fuse together elements and create new ones, like oxygen and iron. All the oxygen you breathe and all the iron in your veins were created in the cores of stars. And when a star is large enough, at the end of its lifetime, it explodes. sending the elements trapped inside the star all throughout our galaxy. And in 1880, humanity took the first ever picture of one of these leftover gas clouds from previous star explosions. This is the Orion Nebula, a place where new stars are born. Now, these pictures don't put into perspective just how large these nebulas are. First, let me update the picture. There, this photo was taken in 2006, and now we can see just how beautiful this stellar nursery actually is. So, just how big is this nebula? The Orion Nebula is 24 light years across, so if you were to fly a passenger airplane across the entire nebula, it would take you 28 million years. 